Hi, welcome to this Labo tutorial. As we've seen in another movie, the VPro8 has a reference input, a loop output, and a dedicated reference output. There is as well a world clock connector available, which can be configured as an input or an output. Let me show you how you can set up your VPro8 to keep your signals in sync. If we switch to the timing window, it shows as an overview of all or incoming signals in comparison to the reference and an overview of all the output signals in comparison to their input. At the bottom, we can choose whether our video reference is on free run or via the analog input. It can even be switched to one of the eight inputs. Let us select the analog input first. On the left side, you can tweak your timing position from that reference input just by turning the wheel. On the right side, we can choose the mode of our world clock BNC, if it needs to be an input or an output. In the reference output menu, you can choose whether the reference output BNC is selectable or need to follow your channel lock. You can even select the format of that reference output. On the left side, you can choose your timing, vertical and horizontal. If you push this button, it will be set to zero. There are several ways how to sync your signals. Via the SEI input menu, you can select whether the frame synchronizer need to be enabled or disabled. This indication LED shows you if the incoming signal is in sync with your reference. If we switch to SEI output and we go to timing, we can select our auto phaser to be on or off. If we switch our auto phaser on, we need to make sure our incoming signal is within the two line auto phaser window. In this case, it's not. If we switch the auto phaser off, the frame phaser will be active, so the signal switched to the output will be in sync like this. There is another option where you can lock your output to your input by selecting this button on or off. In addition to that, you can even switch your vertical and horizontal timing of your outgoing signal by turning this wheel here. If we press the default button, it switches to the minimum delay the VPro8 can give to your outgoing signal. As you can see, the VPro8 is capable of doing two line phasing, frame phasing and frame synchronization. This was the overview of how to time your signals. Thanks for watching. Thank you.